So I'm sure you've heard on the news there's been more events in this world, in our country, that have brought more violence into people's lives. It saddens me to hear that. It struggles with it. But I wonder what is the answer for that? What is the solution? What do we do? You know, the problem, I think, is that we have too many laws. In other words, that the laws don't change anything. The real problem is the heart of man, the heart. You can't legislate the heart. You can't legislate morality. Morality happens when we live according to God's plan, His purpose. But sadly, you can't make people do that. It has to be an individual choice. Personally, I don't see that change will happen until, well, we change. When I say we, I'm talking about me and you because it's our lives that impact our neighbors' lives. And we may look for politicians to change that. We may look to politicians to fix it. But I don't know if that's going to work. I go back to Second Chronicles. If my people would humble themselves, turn from their wicked ways. Well, our wicked ways were followers of Jesus. No, we still have our wicked ways. And the problem is it gets into our lives just as this noise of the truck gets into our lives. It is life. It is the way things go. And we have to make a choice to do things differently. And I think when corporately we do that, when all of us gather together and start living life and calling out those that are not in a way that is, well, godly, helpful, loving, doing it the way that God has called us to, when we start doing that, what might change? I think more things would change. Remember that God said that his people Israel would be a testimony to the nations around them. Well, that's what he's called us for as well. Would you think about that today and think about your role in that part? Hey, and in case you're wondering where I am, I'm almost into Missouri. Talk to you later. God bless. Bye-bye.